Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up a developing environment using MAMP and Dreamweaver. MAMP of course being Macintosh, Apache, MySQL, PHP stack. So as you can see I'm in the MAMP.info website and I'm in the frequently asked questions page, page of the documentation section where you can find a lot of support right now we want to look at the system requirements and you want to make sure that your computer meets those requirements and once you've verified that you navigate to the home page where I recommend downloading this version right here on the left because it is free and this version is the pro version which is not free so once you've done that you want to make sure that the MAMP folder is in your Applications folder. So I've already put that there and I'm going to open it up. And you want to click on the MAMP icon. And you will see this. So click on the Preferences button and make sure these two aren't checked because you don't want it to check for MAMP Pro every time it starts and you don't want it to open the start page every time either. Click on ports and set to default Apache in MySQL ports by clicking this button. It does that for you as you can see. Click PHP and I'd recommend using the latest version. In this case it's going to be 5.3.2. Click Apache and this is kind of important Another recommendation that I would have is to create your local host in your user directory. So I'm going to navigate to that right now. My user directory here and you'll want to create a new folder and just call it localhost, which I've actually already done and even I've made it green, which is much, much more cool. So we're going to go back to the preferences and select that folder that we just made because we want to make sure it's pointing to it. So there we go. Click OK. And it's working on it. And now both Apache and MySQL servers have the green light, meaning that they are turned on, which is a good thing. So now we want to go into our localhost folder and create a folder for our developing website, which typically will be named what our net website is named. In my case, I'm working on a site called Kaleidofolio, so I've set up a folder for that. Now we're going to open Dreamweaver and click on site, manage sites, click new site so that we can create our developing site and the, the site name and the local info here the site name should be probably the name of our website in my case Kaleidofolio and the local, local root folder should be that folder that we just created so, in my case, it's already chosen for me inside of the lo local host, which I'm going to go ahead and choose. Now, you can also specify an images folder, which isn't really important right now, but eventually you'll probably want to do that just to make things easier on you. Uh, the HTTP address should be localhost forward slash the name of your folder. Okay, now we want to create our testing server. So click here. We want that to be PHP MySQL. We want local network because we're going to be working on our local computer. The testing server folder will probably be already specified because of the previous screen, but we want to make sure that it is the in fact that that folder inside our local host. Same here, we want to make sure we have our, our folder specified, like so. Okay, 
Okay, so that's looking good. I think we're ready to go and start our test page. So, manage sites. You can see our site right here. Click done. And I'm going to create a new PHP document. And you can put in any, you can throw in any test PHP statements you want, but I'm going to use two statements inside of an H1 tag so that it looks nice and big and clear. I'm just going to display this sentence. Today's date is the date using this the built-in PHP date function. Simple enough. Okay, so now we want to save this file inside of our folder. I'm just going to call mine test.php. And now we're ready to test this out. So click on this icon up here. Preview in Firefox or whatever you want to want to preview it in. Uh, I'm gonna click yes for that, and I think I don't know. I'm gonna click yes for that too. And voila! Today's date is the second of January, 2011. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, happy New Year to all of you, and thanks for watching this tutorial, and have a great day.